Hello, awesome universe. It's Cyril White, Chief Life Transformation Coach and founder of Country Spirit Fitness and CrossFit. Uh, we just did an epic workout on Friday. Uh, it was a hero workout. And one of, the, one of the things that I continue to love about CrossFit is uh, the traditions and things like the hero workouts. You know, I've been doing CrossFit for about five years. I've been an affiliate owner and coach for just over three years. And um, you know, the things that I originally just love about CrossFit, I, I still love them even more today. And those are things like the hero wads or workout of the day. There are workouts that have been approved by CrossFit and named after uh, military personnel and first responders, police, fire, uh, EMTs that have died in the line of duty. And it might have been a workout that they love to do. Most of them are CrossFitters because it's just a great uh, fitness program for those types of individuals. Uh, we call them tactical athletes. And um, some of them, the, the workouts were just made up and named after them in their honor. And the workout we did on Friday was called the Wolkie. Uh, hopefully, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, and I greatly apologize if that's the case. Uh, but it's named after uh, Westland, Michigan firefighter Brian Wolke. And this workout consists of three rounds for time of four push jerks. The prescribed weight is 185 for men, 135 for ladies. But guess what? If you think, oh my God, I could never lift that much. We scale it for everyone. We have people doing it with a 35 pound barbell. So everyone can do this workout, the, the elite fit and beginners. So don't think that, you know, here workouts are traditionally a little bit harder than your average workout. They're meant to be. Uh, they're meant to push us past those limits. But we had people that had just joined uh, last month have been doing cross for, for a month. We scale everything and then we have our elite athletes doing it as well. The second movement is five front squats, then six power cleans, 40 pull-ups. You say, oh my God, I can't do one pull-up. How am I gonna do 40? Guess what, we scale it. You do jumping pull-ups. Uh, you reduce the number of reps. There's a million ways we can scale this so everyone can benefit. Then 50 push-ups, 60 sit-ups, and then you rest three minutes between each of the rounds. It took me just over 40 minutes, just over 41 minutes to complete this workout. Uh, it was very difficult. I used 165 pounds. I did not go RX, uh, so I was smart for once, and that was challenging enough for me. The reason why this specific hero workout is so important to our box is because one of our coaches, Ken Hamilton, who is a retired Westland firefighter, actually worked uh, with Brian and was there when Brian unfortunately died in the line of duty. And I had Ken put the story together. We read this at every class, so every class could appreciate the significant sacrifice that Brian and his family made for our safety and that our first responders and military make every day for our safety. And the fact that we do this on a weekly basis in CrossFit, we don't wait till Memorial Day, we don't wait till Veterans Day. Of course, we do special workouts on those days too, but we do these every week. We're remembering our heroes every week. And we have those heroes in class with us every day and, and we're remembering the sacrifice that they make. That's what makes CrossFit so awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna read what Ken had to say about the Brian Wolke hero workout, which was just so special to us. I had a new firefighter come to my station for overtime one day named Brian Wolke. I convinced Brian to run the Tough Mudder with me and a few other guys in the department. Brian started training for the Mudder with another firefighter, Anthony Lisiolis, again, I apologize for mispronouncing names, every morning at the station uh, that we outfitted with CrossFit equipment. On the morning of May 8, 2013, Brian texted Tony that he would not be able to make their scheduled workout that morning before shift because he was up all night with his newborn baby, Ava, and he wanted a couple more hours of sleep before he came on shift. At shift change, I was coming off, that's Ken, shift, and Brian's shift was coming on. The very first call they received was a fire at a restaurant slash pool hall. Brian went in with his captain and another firefighter to put the fire out. The conditions got real bad and the battalion chief ordered an evacuation. 
The two other firefighters with Brian made it out of the building, but Brian did not. I was still at the station and heard that we had a man down, so I grabbed my gear and headed to the scene. Unfortunately, the building collapsed with Brian still in it. We made a recovery and found Brian deceased under a bunch of rubble. During the cleanup and debriefing, firefighter Lesiotis came up to me and showed me his phone with a picture of the workout that he and Brian were going to do that morning. He said, I know you CrossFit guys do hero wads for fallen heroes, and I thought maybe you could do this one because Brian was unable to. That's the workout that CrossFit approved and that we do and that people all over the world at different boxes do to honor Brian's sacrifice. This workout was submitted to CrossFit headquarters and it became a hero wad. It stands for workout of the day. We do it around the day that Brian would have gotten off probation, which is July 17th. Brian was 29 when he died and he is survived by his wife, Jennifer, daughter, Ava, parents, William and Elizabeth, brother, William, Robert and Bradley and numerous other friends and family. So whenever we do this workout, we remember Brian and his family sacrifice and all of those other first responders and military personnel uh, that sacrifice for us every day. Thanks.